Hello and welcome to part 3 of the extremely popular word table series which has over 350,000 views so far on YouTube and today we are going to learn another 5 very useful but not very well known tips to help you save time and effort formatting word tables Ok, so let's get to it Usually when working with tables in Word, we would want to move the order of the row up or down For example, I want banana to move to the first row because Alphabetically speaking, it is the first word in the list So there, there's actually a very useful keyboard shortcut for doing that And that keyboard shortcut is a shift, alternate and uh, the up and down arrow Press all three keys at once and now we can move the row up and down quite intuitively and easily to our liking So remember, shift, alternate and the up and down arrow It will make your life so much easier, I promise but still, even with this useful keyboard shortcut, it will still take a while for us to manually sort the table in alphabetical order There's actually a better way to do that in Word So let's say I want uh, to sort the fruit column from A to Z um, I want banana to go first and watermelon to go last in the list So first we would need to tell what which part of the table we want to arrange in alphabetical order So select the whole fruit column and you can just move your mouse cursor to just outside the column until you see a down arrow and then click the whole column will be selected now go to layout sort and that could open the sort dialog box notice that there are two options here ascending and descending ascending will sort the text from A to Z while descending will sort the text in the reverse order from Z to A in our case we'll choose ascending then go down and click this option My list has had a row and press OK So now you can see that the second column is sorted from A to Z While the header is still intact which is exactly what we want Now, suppose we want to sort by total sales instead of fruit name So we want the best selling fruit, in this case um, pineapple to go first Followed by litchi and etc So let's select column 3, go to layout, sort and here, we will need to make sure we select the descending order so that it will display all the sales value from largest to smallest Click OK and we're done Ok, now, suppose now we want to calculate the total fruit sales for July Some of you might think that we would need to copy paste the table to Excel and then do the calculation there But there is no need for basic calculation, you can do it right in Word so first, let's add uh, another row for our table This is our grand total row And uh, we want the grand total of all the individual food sales So uh, click on the cell that we want to perform the calculation Ok, now go to layout, formula And for what? Uh, we can uh, perform basic calculations such as sum and product and unlike Excel, what uses positional argument? So instead of cell A1 or A3 or B3, uh, C5 in Excel, in Word we refer to value cells as uh, left, right, above, and below. So in our case, what has already made the right guess uh, by thinking that we want to sum, we want the sum of all the cells above the cell. So uh, click OK and we're done. Now, what if the value of uh, one of the cell changes will it be reflected in the grand total? So let's try to change coconut to a much bigger number and see what happens Ok, now we will need to select the entire table And uh, press F9 so the formula can be refreshed And yes, it looks correct Ok, now we're done And next, sometimes we want to put a table in a separate page and make only that page landscape so I'll put some dummy text here to illustrate And in Word, you can create dummy text quite easily with this syntax Equal Rand Rand for random Open bracket 3 Comma 5 Close comma And uh, here 3 is the number of paragraphs and 5 is the number of lines for each paragraph So hit enter OK and uh, now let's add some text below the table So this time, I'm going to copy this paragraph by moving, moving the mouse cursor to just outside the page margin And then double click Now Ctrl C to copy And go down And Ctrl V to paste Ok, 
So now that uh, what we want is to put the fruit sales table to a separate page and make only that page landscape. But if we select the entire table, then go to layout, orientation, and select landscape, the entire document will be in landscape mode, which is not what we want. Of course, we can try adding section break, but it could be quite messy. So uh, let me show you a quicker method. First, make sure that the entire table is selected. Then go to page setup and click on the small arrow to open the page setup dialog box. Select landscape, then go down and in the apply to, you can see that the default setting is uh, applied to the whole document and this is what causes the problem. So no worries, just click on the drop down arrow and select the second option which is uh, selected text and our problem is solved. Finally, whenever we have a table that appears at the end of the document, there is usually a blank space, uh, a blank page that we somehow cannot get rid of and that blank page is usually uh, the last page that we don't need. So, no matter how many times we try to hit backspace or delete, it is still stubbornly there. This is because, by default, what adds a little bit of space after each table. So go to paragraph and click on this weird looking icon here, which is a paragraph mark. It will display all the hidden formatting symbols in the document. So select the last paragraph mark, go to font size and just insert a really small number, like one. Then hit enter and the blank page is gone. And that's it. Happy learning and see you in the next video.